Welcome to week four and the final of the Audi dinner challenge. So as you would know, it started with week one for a TikTok from Audi as a paid partnership to do five dinners for under $100. They sent us graciously gift cards for $150. And so that's what I did and decided to carry it on because there was lots of food in there I wanted to use. You can go and check out those videos. I'll link them above. So as you can see here, I've only purchased $17.22. I got another bag of potatoes. I got some minced meat and I put in there the cost for the tomato cans because I used them out of the cupboard. I forgot to purchase them previously. And also a packet of lasagna sheets because we're going to use that for one of our meals. So using up still some leftover corn and carrots and other bits and pieces, it makes this week very cheap. So our meal plan for the week, we've got loaded potatoes, fish and chips, stew and a lasagna that's going to cover for two nights. But I'll talk through also the options the children are having because they don't always eat the same things that we do. So first up, we're starting with our loaded potatoes and I saved three of the biggest potatoes that there were, wrapped them up in our fall and I just threw them into the oven for an hour. From that, we had the shredded cheese from last week. We had pineapple and I had the leftover ham. So I chopped all of that up and then potatoes I just cut them open lathered them with butter mine was a smaller potato and for hubby I put two together sprinkled it with cheese then sprinkled the ham and the pineapple and we had a little bit of sour cream there so I just dopped that on top I would have put the coleslaw on there that I bought for the fish and chips but that magically disappeared that was part of the meal plan idea but you know what <laughs> that's how it goes and the children my daughter has had a panko chicken with chips and veggies we had one piece left over my son's had chicken nuggets and chips before the loaded potatoes we had fish and chips this was all edited out of order let me tell you but it looked good on paper <laughs> my children of course have had triangles we had the leftover onion rings homemade chips and veggies hubby likes two pieces of fish because they are a bit smaller i just have one i could have stretched it out to do another meal and loaded up more on chips or veg but it is what it is just keeping it real around here so everyone was happy and fed either or the next night i have used the leftover beef that we had from last week i chopped it up into chunks and threw it in the freezer because i knew i'd save it for today we have some chicken stock that i had left over from um, previous cooking in another adventure and of course there is the bag of the chopped up pumpkin that we threw in there to freeze some chopped up carrots and also we had some chopped up sweet potato in there that I'd all included in the price from last week knowing that I chop it up and throw it in the freezer to save it and then put that together with a mashed potato and here is another delicious meal for nights four and five we are having lasagna because i always portion this out to make sure that it lasts us for over two meals because that's what i do and i'll just make sure to load up the plate with homemade chips or something like that now full disclosure this is footage from something else because the night that i made this everything was going on but still all the theories are exactly the same there's mincemeat there there's carrots there's corn and there's a tin of crushed tomatoes it all gets cooked, then it all gets put together. I've allocated all the pricing. At the end of the day, <laughs> it's a meal and we are all fed. I'm just showing this as well because someone was curious to know how I make the lasagna. But this will be coming up also in a separate meal prep video. I know it doesn't look the best on the plate, but that's sometimes what you get. My lasagna will feed six people. I like to stretch it out. And of course, my son has just had his standard chicken nuggets, chips and carrots. So we've been able to be really successful this week and repeating meals because that's what we like to do. So week one, 69, 16, week two, 57, 15, week three, 77, 11, week four, 17, 22, 
which comes to a total of 222064. So if we divide that by the four weeks, it comes to an average of 5516 or $11.03 per night or $2.70 per person per meal because I know that someone asked me what is the average cost of meals. Remember, this is just a straight shopping Audi. We didn't really score any markdowns for the past couple of weeks. So this is just shopping regular everyday products type thing. If we have a look at costs and things, I started with $150. The total, as you see there, was $220.64, which meant there was a leftover of $70.64. I had some previous gift cards to help pay for that, which I'm very gracious for. As you can see here, we have some leftovers, which is some potatoes. We had some stew leftover. We've got cauliflower and some triangles. Of course, all the chicken nuggets have gone, the frozen corn, the carrots, all the bits and pieces, but there would be a variety of stuff. And if you wanted to even meal plan it down and portion control it a little bit more, you could always do that as well. So I hope you've enjoyed the four week challenge with me. I've certainly enjoyed it. It's made it a little bit easier just shopping everything. This week, as I say, was a little bit different because I just kind of on the fly and knew that we'd be doing repeat meals but that's what you do to keep things frugal so thank you so much for joining with me i appreciate you and i look forward to seeing you next time bye